Hello. Um. Uh. My name is Johnny Best, and I'm going to be showing you how to create um, motion blur in Blender. Now, this is something that the real world, ha real real world has. Uh, if you take a picture with your camera without flash, you can instantly see if something's moving that has motion blur. And objects that are moving in animation uh, have ocean blur as well. Otherwise, they look kind of uh, still and uh, don't really look realistic. And the way ways of motion blur is just an object that's uh, moving, and you see it. Uh, you see it from different frames. It's uh, especially useful if the object is moving quickly. So, to illustrate the fact uh, how motion blur works, I will very quickly create some text here. It's not something you get to follow, actually. I'm just going to be... Uh, the arrows. Uh, I'll just be very quickly showing how to do motion blur. So, it's very simple. I'll very quickly give it some depth. Hurry up with this. Um, all right, so I'll just like write something here. Motion. Oh, oops, got no on. All right, uh, let me just fix this. Uh, okay, very quickly do that, and then of course there's a stuff you can do with. Text, but it's not a text tutorial. So anyway, I could put some text there, and then I'll just put some, put a plane here. Uh, move very quickly. If you're a beginner. There's always another tutorial for you to learn how to do this kind of stuff. Uh. Okay. So anyway, there we go. So I should move farther away. All right. So this is gonna be very simple. Uh, to create motion blur, first of all, you have to have your object moving. Now this may sound like a lot of trouble to you, but it actually is very simple. Especially if you're going to do a simple scene like this. I'll change all those to green. Make them nice and shiny. Take the shininess. Anyway. So, anyway. So, that's a basic scene set up. Motion blur, plane. So, now to create motion blur, we'll have to make our camera move. So, to start with, I will select that camera and press I and make sure you're on the first frame. To select location rotation, go to frame 10 and move it along the Y axis. Actually, move it along local Z. This is uh, just pressing G and then Z twice. Okay, and let's press I and location rotation again. So now, if I just move this line over here back and forth, you can see the camera is moving. So let's go to frame five, say seven, way better. Oh, actually, it was five. Okay, so that's the camera is now actually moving, even though it doesn't look like it. To make motion blur, you have to do one thing: go to render, go to layers, and go down here. And check vector. Now, motion blur in Blender is called vector blur. Just to let you know. So I'll this render. Oh, yeah, I set the lighting too. I'll just change that. I'll bring it over here and change that to a sun. Nothing special. 
So yeah, that's uh, okay. Um, all right, so now if we just go to the compositor, by going to node editor and compositing nodes, check use nodes and backdrop, and we'll just be using the very simple thing. Uh, add a vector blur and filter, and do a couple things. First of all, I'll add a viewer so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, duplicate that. Yeah. And I'm just going to connect connect the image of the render layer to the image of the vector blur. If you do not know how to do compositing. I do a tutorial on how uh, the, 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 the basics of Blender, uh, where you can learn how to do compositing, how to get the basics. Connect the Z of the render layer to the Z of the vector blur, uh, and then connect the speed of the render layer to the speed of the vector blur. Speed is an important part. It will, uh, I suppose it's a vector blur. So now if we click on that, Wait for that to do its compositing stuff. There we go. So already you have motion blur. Now you can't see it very clearly, but it's blurred like that right there. It makes it more noticeable. I'll just do something very quickly. I will click on that plane. Quickly add a new texture, new material, add a new texture. Make it something like Voronoi. And change the color. Very, very quickly. Change that to blue. Okay. And change that to black. Or almost black. So, yeah. And, uh, um, and I'm just going to change that to sun, too. And one more thing, make sure you do this. Connect the vector blur and the compositor together so that it composites the vector blur. And render. So there is motion blur. You can see that the motion blur is quite apparent here. It looks like you're zooming forward onto toward that uh, that uh, uh, that word right there is motion blur. Uh, that's motion blur. That's it. That's motion blur. It's very simple. Now, as an alternative, you can also do this. Go to render and render and go down here to right here. It says full sample motion blur. Uh, and if you check that, then it will also give motion blur. However, the motion blur will be achieved by uh, rendering uh, separate frames. So, say if you made the uh, if I checked it and then made the motion samples eight, then it will render eight frames. I think. Not sure actually. Not going to. But uh, so yeah, I don't usually use that. I just use vector blur because it's faster and uh, looks good. So that's motion blur. Very quick, very easy, and simple. So that's it. We're done. Hope you now know how to do motion blur and apply it to your animations. Uh, just remember that you have to. Uh, make a camera move first, otherwise the vector blur will do nothing. 